There you are, Mrs. Brenning. Oh, and they say the age of chivalry is dead. I'll be with you in a minute, Bradley. I'll have a strong cup of tea, Bianca, and a lightly boiled egg, and a piece of toast with a thin scrape and a butter, if you please. Oh, thanks for covering for me. I've got to take Ian up the hospital. Bianca, some sort of hologram, is she? She can't cope on her own. Anyway, she might have to leave. She's having trouble with it, Nick. Well, as long as everybody else is accommodated. Don't worry about me. Stop whining, will you? Get enough of that from Ian. Oh, well done. Oh, it'll be all right. I did that to mine once, two days on the radio. It was right as rain. I haven't got two days. What, you waiting for a call? Oh, give her half a plastic peanut. Oh, I see. Lee. I'm going on my break, right? You love him. You want to see for partnership. <laughs> you are not funny on any level. Is that why you're such a moody chop? He's nice, all right. I like him. Said he'd call after our last date and he hasn't. So that's probably it. Well, he's probably shy. Text him. I don't chase. Any ideas whose this is? Last season's. Must be Ronnie's. She was in here earlier, so I'll take it over to her. Well, hurry up, because um, Ian's waiting for me, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Christian! Hi, how's it going? Great. Good to see you. Glad you texted. Actually, I'll be honest with you. My sister sent it. Oh. Huh. Not sure what to make of that. Should I feel stupid for calling? No. I'm glad you did. You sure? You seem a little nervous. Me? Nervous. Had that part of my personality removed at 13. Now stop giving me looks and go get the drinks in.